This is Richard Solomon, and this will be a brief tour of our spreadsheet called Useful Tools for Jewish Educators and Teacher Trainers, Part 1, from A through M. In the first part of this spreadsheet, we review web tools from A, category of animation tools, to M, a category of music tools, which I will demonstrate in a moment. And as a preliminary to the particular spreadsheet here, you'll see information on how to add websites with web tools to this spreadsheet. And if you click here, you see a tutorial on how to locate information on the spreadsheet. We also note that this spreadsheet, although seemingly related to Jewish educators and teacher trainers, can be applied across all curriculum. We also make the note that before any of these web tools are shared with your students, colleagues, or parents, they should be reviewed to determine if the web tool is appropriate and properly aligned with your particular learning objectives. All right, so let's demonstrate or discuss how this spreadsheet works. We list a category of web tools that's usually in blue and underlined. We then indicate the address or URL and the purpose of the web tool. We provide tutorials, applications in this column for secular or general education, and then sample Jewish educational applications. So, for example, if we're looking at animation tools, these tools are designed to create animations and we list the name of the tool, its URL, tutorials. In this column we have applications for the general and secular classroom and then applications for the Judea classroom in a day school or in a supplemental school. This is all done in alphabetical order. So Animasher would be first, then Go Animate would be next, and Voki would be next, etc. So I'm just going to quickly go over the various categories of tools. We then have audio tools, quite a few, and then blogging tools how to create a free blog, book and story creation tools, book marking tools. Again, you see there, it's all in uh, alphabetical order. Collaborative writing tools. comic strip tools course management system tools these are platforms for creating courses you'll recognize some of these I'm sure educational electronic games File converting tools, 
these are tools that can change the format for a particular file, let's say from a doc file to a PDF file. We have file storage tools, how to store your large documents for free. We have graphic organizer tools, inquiry tools, Here is a category for Jewish virtual field trips that you could take your students on. Here is a set of tools on scheduling meetings, mind mapping tools, how to create a mind map or tools for brainstorming. And then I have a list of miscellaneous web tools here that I couldn't easily find the category for. And music web tools, tools in which you can find music and even lyrics. And the last thing on this page is a listing of additional web tools that you may want to investigate. You're free to go and check any of these tools. Now, here's something that import that's important. Let's say you wanted to find out about MOOF. Okay, and you're, you get on the website. You're way up here. There are two ways to find MOOF. You can go to the menu. I'm using the Chrome browser and you go to find. Click on find and you just write the word MOOF M-O-O-F you see and then it takes you to where you want to go. The other way to find something some tool on the website is to go to the edit menu on this Google Docs spreadsheet. Go to find and replace and just write the word MOOF, for example, M-O-O-F. Hit the return and it will take you there. So you have two ways to find websites and tools by using this particular way to find that information. Now if we go down to the bottom, you'll notice it says to get to web tools starting with P from painting to W, word collage with web tools, all you have to do is click here. So you can click here or at the top, you can click here. Let me show you how that works. You click on the word that is hyperlinked, and then you click on the link, and that will take you to the spreadsheet, which has web tools from P, painting, and drawing tools, to W, word and collage tools. Let me just quickly go over the categories. We have painting tools, personal and work organizational tools, picture and image tools where you can get free and downloadable pictures and other images polling student response system or feedback tools here are a variety of presentation tools such as multimedia tools to make multimedia presentations
and then there are presentation tools, particularly photo presentation tools, places where you can create albums and share your photos with others. We have presentation tools for your PowerPoints to make your PowerPoint uh, into a um, movie or a, a one that has a URL or address. Here's an interesting one. Here are tools for problem-based learning. quiz and test tools, remote control and screen sharing web tools. This is a particular tool where you can tutor someone by accessing his or her computer with his or her permission. And you can also share your screen with others. Here are some research tools, screen capturing tools, that's where you are able to do a screencast, which by the way is what I'm doing right now, this is a screencast, or a movie of my screen, there are a variety of different tools for that, there are screen recording tools, which are similar types of tools. Actually, I'm using right now QuickTime Player to do this video. Then we have a listing of social networking tools. Many of these I'm sure you're familiar with. We have tools to reach students with special needs. We describe the different kinds of special needs that your students might have. Here are survey tools, tools by which you can create surveys for your students or uh, teachers. This is an interesting set of tools. These are administrative tools that can uh, help teachers take attendance, send notes to parents, Here are timeline tools, which provide uh, a timeline of events, could be historical. Or project management timeline tools. And here are video hosting and sharing websites, ones that uh, I'm certain you are familiar with. In fact, uh, I'm going to upload this tutorial or tour onto YouTube later. This is interesting. Here are web camera recording tools. This is where you can record your speaking to the web camera and explaining information to uh, students, teachers, or parents, and others. Here are web conferencing tools. All of the tools that we share are free or low cost. Again, this is tools for web conferencing.
Then we have website creation tools. Here are tools that you can use to create your own websites for free. And the last category are word collage tools, which are web tools which uh, invite you to create a word collage. And at the end, you have an opportunity to click here and get back to the web tools from A, animation, to M, music tools. We hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening. Best wishes.